In this video, we're going to solve this particular problem which appeared in the year 2023 J main paper. Let's go ahead and first understand the problem. So here we need to find out the number of solution of the given equation where we have a function, right? That is called greatest integer function. So this is a, in a fun, uh, equation involving the greatest integer function. Now here, whenever we speak up, right, that the greatest integer function that the two uh, square bracket inside x, right? We sometimes call it as a box of a function, okay? Generally, well, that's the nomenclature people used, okay? That's it. So let's go ahead and solve this particular problem. First, we consider the equation and we rearrange the given equation in some particular form such that all the greatest integer function are a box of x in one side. So here we take it everything in the right hand side. Okay. So here if we factorize the left hand side right by middle term factorization, we find out that it's equal to x minus 3 and x minus 1. So that will be equal to x minus 1 again if we take factorize multiplied by boxes. So therefore, that given equation can be easily reduced as x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 3 minus box of x, right? So the factorization of the above equation is performed now. Now let's go ahead and try to understand, right, that what can be the solution for this particular problem. First, we can easily say that in this case, either x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus 3 minus box x is equal to 0. So, therefore, right, one uh, simple root for this equation will be definitely x minus 1. That's obvious, right? So, x is equal to 1 is a solution of this equation. Now, we have to test that, right? Is that possibility of anything that any real x is possible so that that x minus box x would be equal to 3. So if we get so right, then our job is done, right? So now let's go ahead and solve the other equation that is x minus mod x is box x is equal to 3. So first we try to analyze, right, this function, right? So here to be, uh, we are to analyze that x minus box x function, right? So first we consider that case one, right? What is the case one? Case one contains, right, that x is a integer. So you'll assume that x is a integer. Now notice that when x is a integer, right? So in that particular case, right, we can say that box of one is equal to one. Box of minus one is equal to minus one. Box of two is two box of minus 2 is equal to minus 2 and so on and so forth, right? So this definition we already know, right? So therefore we understand that, right? That in this particular case, right? That box x minus x is equal to 0 always. So therefore we know when x is an integer, box x is equal to x and therefore, right? x minus mod x is equal to 0. we consider that x is not an integer. So if x is not an integer, so then we can say that, take an example, 1.25 box, right? That's equal to one. And now 1.25 minus box of 1.25 is always gives you 0 0.25. Take the negative values, right? That box of minus 1.25 is equal to minus two. And the subtraction of one minus 1.25 minus subtraction of the other one will gives you that 0 0.75 so therefore right this phenomena will be uh, holds on for every integer and so on so therefore we can conclude that we can conclude that right that x minus box x right or always belongs to the open interval 0 to 1 so basically it's a fraction decimal point only 0 0.1 sometimes 0 0.57 and so on and so forth we cannot get right anything more than that it's more than one or something so therefore right we can conclude that that x minus box of x equal to 3 it's not possible for any real values of x that it's impossible so it's impossible to say that that x minus box x is equal to 3 and therefore we can get the given equation have only one solution that is x equal to 1. So hence in this particular problem we can say option c is the correct one that that's why it says that that the given equation have a unique solution in minus infinity to plus infinity and that's it. Hope you understood the problem. Thank you.